There are in total 11 certifications on Google Cloud put into three different categories. One certificate at a foundation level, another one certificate at a mid intermediate or associate level and the rest all nine certificates at a professional level. And out of these 11, two are the most in demand, which is at intermediate level associate cloud engineer. And at a professional level, you have cloud architect professional or professional cloud architect uh, engineer that you get. Now, what all these certificates are, and these are put into different chartings. What all those things we are going to cover in this video. I'm going to bring a Google Cloud expert and she'll be talking about all these certificates. And also, if you stay till end, I'm going to tell you what all 100 plus hands on labs you should be performing and not all of them you need to do, but we recommend all these 100 plus labs so that not only will help you in getting certified, but help you in getting a higher paid job as well. And if you want to go deeper into what we have learned in this video, we're going to talk everything towards end. So let's first begin with all this, uh, the certificates about Google Cloud. There are three different types of learnings that uh, learning levels that we have in Google Cloud. There are 11 certifications in Google Cloud. Let's group them into foundational, associate and professional. Foundational is only one certificate, which is Cloud Digital Leader. It's also called a CDL, which is the equivalent of AZ900 from Microsoft. And AWS also has an entry level certification, which is called Cloud Practitioner. It is the same eight hours course wherein you will learn a lot about all the services, almost 50 services. Imagine covering 50 services in eight hours. So it's going to be a mile long but an inch deep course. But this is very good for the top level leaders who have been in the industry for almost 20 years. So I love to talk to people who are about 20 years, especially the CXOs who are stuck in their career as well as in their digital transformation journey. Associate level is only one certification, <coughs> which is called ACE, Associate Cloud Engineer, which is equivalent of AZ104 in, in Microsoft Azure. And also we have AWS, which is SysOps admin. Oracle also has equivalent certification. But if you see the professional side of it, add the word professional in front of every certificate. Professional cloud architect, professional data engineer, professional machine learning engineer. There are a list of professional certifications, but we will see which one is the right first before getting into which one is the right one, we'll see what are all the things which are available and who is it for. As and when I'll explain, I'll show the slides, I'll explain. The first one is foundational certification. I have zero experience in IT. I am from the banking industry, but I would like to move to the IT industry. I have a long career gap. I love working with mothers because I took a career gap after delivering my second uh, daughter, right? So I have a long career gap. I'm stuck in the traditional IT. I work inside a SOC NOC, right? Network operation center, security operation center. Some of these are traditional. Some people who are stuck in the traditional testing background, still with Selenium, right? I'm not saying that it's not a good career, but how long? My question for all of you is how long is it going to be available? right? CDL is an amazing start for all the salespeople of Google Cloud, all the pre-sales people, because it's all about how to grasp some of the keywords, which are problems from a customer side and throw the right set of pitch. And this is the best certification for people who are in the semi-technical background. There is nothing called non-technical in IT. If you are in that so-called non-technical role, it's really time to brace up and upgrade yourself and reskill yourself, right? So the team manager, the program manager, project manager, ops manager, these are all very, very generic roles. So you really need to start with CDL. Associate is for people who are like system engineers. I do have hands-on experience, but I would like to know how to implement. The keyword here is how. The CDL, the keyword is what, what is there, right? In ACE, the keyword is how, how to implement a virtual machine, how to scale my Kubernetes pods, how am I going to merge two VPCs and create one big private network, all those things. So in Google, when you say, when I say in Google, either if you work for Google or a customer who uh, who's going to deploy all of their services in Google, there is this new word called shard that you have to learn from them. Entire Google is also the pre-sales, the technical people, everybody's grouped in shards. All the job roles are based in shards. So the first is infrastructure shard. 
I'm not going to get into DevOps. I'm not going to get into developer, but I'm going to only have career. I'm very good in networking. And I'm also very good in understanding what happens inside a data center. I already have 15 years of rich experience. In that case, you should stick to infrastructure chart, which is a combination of PCA and PNE, professional network engineer. Imagine PCA is like your sponge cake. You can put any amount of cream on top, but you really need a sponge cake inside, right? So that's your PCA. Moving on to data and AI chart. You say that I would love to work with data. I would love, when I say work with data, it's the all 10 life cycle data goes through 10 different life cycle. It's about the data collection, data mining, data uh, mart, data analytics, data analysis, to data visualization. There are almost 10 to 12 different things. Top it up with your machine learning engineer. And this is the top shard of Google. If you're a developer, it is mandatory that you have to know how to create your own infrastructure, how to create your own CI/CD pipeline. Gone are those days where a developer is separate, infrastructure engineer is separate. Combining these two, a person who comes in between as agile CSM practitioner, no, everything is on developer these days. If you are a developer, you should very well understand uh, network, security, infrastructure, and operations. Now, these are all the list of things which are available. What is in it for me? It's too many certificates I'm not going to do. So in less than, little less than 100 hours, we are going to lay a very, very strong foundation. I've prepared a one slider for you, wherein this is going to be your personalized learning journey. Four years back when I started, this was my learning journey. And this definitely paid me a lot of money. And it's not about the money. It's about the stress-free environment, which comes with the money, right? So here is the ideal journey that we are going to do. So cloud digital leader needs eight hours. ACE needs 40 hours and PCA needs 80 hours. We cannot, we cannot move out of cloud digital leader. That's mandatory because that is like a one day. Eight hours means we will do four hours one day, four hours the next day, maybe a Saturday, Sunday. You can write after this you can go for an examination there are no theory there is no lab it's all about mcqs multiple choice question 50 questions you get for 90 minutes and this is a very good conceptual course for all the people can we do one thing let's combine ace plus pca instead of 40 plus 80 120 hours let's combine this and make it as a 90 hours course this 90 hours comes with capstone project labs Okay, I'm going to scare you with something. We have 100 labs for you combining all this. So trust me, there is no way that you are going to get rejected in any interview. 100 labs, that's the torture that you will get. So please go through all of these labs. Some of them are must, some of them are good to do, some of them are must. So, but go through everything if you really want to throw yourself into the process, right? So almost 100 labs and we do, and this is not going to be a one too many. Yeah, there is going to be a many to many. What do you mean by this? So there are four other people who will come. There is one person who will come for the labs. There is one person who will come for the Cape Stone project. There is one industry expert who will come for interview. Above all, do you see in the cloud digital leader, there is one highlighted. It's a round table with the Google leader. So I'm going to go get one very senior leader. He is among top 50 within Google in India. I'm going to get that person for one one hour session and that's round table. So 90 hours, 100 labs, five capstone projects. We are going to combine ACE and PCA together. Sounds difficult, but we are going to make it very easy for you. Well, that was our Google Cloud expert talking about all the certifications that you can do out of which the three certifications she, she recommended, which is a digital cloud leader, uh, associate cloud engineer, and then professional cloud architect. Now she mentioned about the 100 plus hands-on lab. If you want to go and look at, if you want to get hold of these 100 plus labs, you have to check more about by going to k1academy.com forward slash GCP 05. And if you scroll down, you will have all the list of all the hands-on labs uh, categorized into different categories that you see, and also the project work that you should be performing. So these are different categories like Google Cloud Overview, and you create these hands-on labs about projects and accounts, which is another important thing, you should be creating these accounts. And like that, you can see all these hands-on lab like compute, storage, networking, and so on.
Now, also, if you want to go, whatever you've learned, if you want to go deeper into these certifications, you can check out by uh, looking at the certification related. If you want to dig more deeper, kutunacademy.com forward slash GCP 11, that will have all about these certifications, dif different levels and other topics in depth as well. And then finally, the most important thing, which I mentioned at the start, if you want to learn or go deeper into and learn how to get certified and how to perform these hands-on labs and a complete roadmap, in, uh, including our three-step framework to learn from complete beginner or already working into Google Cloud and become an expert, get certified and become an expert and get a high paying job, then I would recommend you to go to this URL and uh, re register for a free class that I'm hosting, which is by going to k2academy.com forward slash GCP02. Scroll down and you will enter your name, email address, phone number, and click on register now. I'll see you inside this free class. If you have any questions related to certification or any other topic, uh, then do let us know, leave them in the comment section. And the next week, I'm going to talk about, pick some of these hands-on labs so you can and show it to you on this channel here. Um, with that, this is Atul from team Kiton Academy. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you next week.